Hey, good morning out there, Facebook world. Uh, it's this beautiful rainy morning here in Visalia, California, and I wanted to share with you just some quick thoughts real quick about the topic of worry. Um, you know, I'm kind of a big planner, and, and, and planning is good, and preparations for different events and things are good, but at the same time, I think all of us are probably admit at times we kind of have this tendency to overly stress about things that are outside of our control. And I was kind of going through my mind about some of the things that I've stressed about over the years and about different um, problems and things. And I was thinking about Bible camp. You know, as you know, I direct a winter camp and a summer camp up at Yosemite Bible Camp. And one of the things that stresses me out a lot about planning camp, especially in the summertime, is weather. I'll check the weather report day after day after day to see if it's going to be hot up there at Bible Camp. But here's the deal. In Central California, in the lower mountain ranges, in July, you know what it is? It's always hot, and I can't control it. If it's going to be 100 degrees, there's nothing that I can do to fix that. I do not have that power as camp director to control the weather, but yet I stress about it. I worry that, oh, man, if it's hot, people aren't going to have a good time. They're not going to want to come to camp, and it's going to be a big failure or something along those lines, and, and it's silly. There's no reason that, that I stress about those things. And maybe you're like that, too. There's certain things in your life that you stress about that are outside of your control. What if the stock market crashes? You probably can't control that, right? I mean, you might control your own little facet of your own finances, but the market as a whole, you don't have any control over that. Or maybe you control, uh, you're, you're stressed about getting sick. It's flu season. What if I get sick? Yeah, it's not good to get sick, but you can't always prevent that. You know, and I even like today, like the weather, maybe you had planned to do some work in your yard, to rake some leaves, to mow your lawn. Now it's raining outside and you can't do that. But what's the point in worrying? You know, Jesus, in his Sermon on the Mount, talks a lot about the topic of worry, stress, and anxiety. Over in Matthew chapter 7, um, over in verse, or actually chapter 6, sorry, in verse 25, he says, Do not be worried about your life. And he talks about, don't worry about what you're going to eat or, or what you're going to wear um, because or what you're going to drink because God knows that you have those things and, and he's going to take care of you. And then in verse 27, he makes a great point. He says, and what of you by being worried, who of you by being worried can add a single hour to his life? Basically, does worrying make your life better? No, it doesn't. So why worry so much? In fact, I mean, you've probably used the phrase before, they worried themselves sick. That's what Jesus is talking about. You're probably going to shorten your life the more you worry. So, so why worry at all? Do not worry. And who of you by being worried can add a single hour to his life? He goes on in verse 31. He says, do not worry then saying what we will eat or what we will drink or what we will wear for clothing. And then it goes on in verse 34. He says, so do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will care for itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. So my, my advice to you today is don't worry, especially about things that are outside of your control because it's going to bring you nothing but stress, anxiety, and misery. It doesn't make your life better. Yes, it's good to plan. And, and I think we as human beings, we're naturally worriers. And some of that, I think God has given us as a gift to protect us and to, to help us plan and prepare for future tragedies or disasters and things. But beyond that, ask yourself, when has your life ever been better because you worried? When do you ever look back on a time of stress in your life and go, man, I'm glad that my life was full of anxiety and stress at that time. It sure made me feel better. It didn't. So my advice to you today is trust in God a little bit more. Instead of worrying, make some plans, prepare, but don't stress. Don't be anxious. Don't be overcome by worry because worry will not make your life better. Thanks for tuning in today. I um, hope you have a blessed weekend. Um, keep tuning in every Friday. I'll try to put out these devos once a week. Share them with people you think that might need them. Um, thanks for tuning in.